Okay, here we are going to learn how to read and retrieve data using from a two-dimensional array. So to insert data to a two-dimensional array, we need something called a nested loop. This is because here we are in, we are inserting data in rows and columns. So we need two loops. The first loop representing the row operation and second loop representing the column operation. Suppose here I want to insert a matrix, something like this. Here I want to insert a 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, this is an example of a 2 by 2 matrix. A 2 by 2 matrix means a matrix that contain two rows and two columns. So here I'm going to show you how to read this type of an arrangement or this type of data to a two dimensional array using nested loop. So here we have to use two loops, an inner loop and outer loop. The first one the outer loop, if you read the data in row wise, then you have to use the outer loop to make the row operation and you can use the inner loop to make the column operation. This is because while we inserting data in row wise, each row contains two columns. That means while executing the outer loop once, we have to execute the inner loop twice. If you inserting the data in column wise, then you have to use the outer loop to representing the columns and inner loop to representing the rows. This is because each column contain two rows. So in that case, if you insert, in that case, the outer loop representing the column, that means once the outer loop is secured, we have to execute the inner loop twice. That means we have to insert the data into the two rows. Okay, so here I'm going to insert data in row wise. That means I have to use the outer loop to representing the row and inner loop to representing the columns. So before we have to declare a two dimensional array that is capable of holding two by two matrix. So here all the elements are integer. So I use an integer two dimensional array first specify the row dimension and now specify the column dimension okay now x is a two dimensional array which is capable of holding a two by two matrix so for reading for using the two loops we have to use two variables I declare two variables i and j now here I'm going to read the matrix using a scanner function so we have to start the outer loop the outer loop representing the number of columns or the column operation sorry in this case here I'm going to insert data in row wise so the outer loop representing the row so initialize the variable i with the value 0 and put the condition i less than 2 i plus plus Now this for loop representing the number of rows because there are two rows so we have to execute this loop two times. Now we have to representing the inner loop for j equal to 0 and put the condition j less than 2 j plus plus. Now the inner loop representing the number of columns representing the column operation so when the outer loop execute once we have to execute the inner loop two times because we have to insert two data two numbers in first row that means we have to insert two numbers in two columns okay so here open the inner loop body so now I'm going to read the data using scanner function so here all the values are integers so using percentage d and now specify the data now specify the variable using address operator and here the array name is x x of ij okay so now in this arrangement whenever the outer loop execute once the inner loop execute twice so we have to insert data in row wise using these nested loops okay 
So now I'm going to display this matrix. So for displaying the matrix, we have to use the same loop arrangement. So we need an outer loop and inner loop to print a two-dimensional array. So here, instead of scan function, here I'm going to use the printf because here we are going to display the data so there is no need of the address operator okay so first it will print out the entire row it will print the first row and then print the second row so after printing the first row so we need a space between each element that's why I put a slash t here slash t is an escape sequence that is that representing one tab of space okay so after inserting after printing the first row we have to print the second row in another line that means after executing the inner loop we have to print a new line okay so this will this program will read a two-dimensional array and print a two-dimensional array so now I'm going to compile the program I save the program now compile the program compilation is success now run the program so now here we have to insert a 2 by 2 matrix so the first element is 45 uh, second element is 32 so now you have to specify the second row the first element is 23 second element is 12 now here we got the output we print we read the matrix and print out the matrix using printer function 45 32 23 and 12 this is how we read and this is how we insert and retrie retrieve data from a two-dimensional array